everyone, I'm Shadow DTV, and today is the first of many Marvel Snap videos. Um, I've been playing this game a ton. It only came out in Australia a couple of weeks ago, so I've just been grinding it out, you know, playing as much as I can. And I think I have plenty of knowledge on the game now, enough to get you guys, you know, you new beginners playing the game, get the game downloaded, learn everything about the game so you can succeed, level up your collection, and just have fun. So let's get straight into it. Um, uh, first things first, download the game. You can get it on iOS and Android at the moment. There is a PC client coming to Steam eventually, but the game is in beta at the moment. So right now, it can only play on mobile. If you do want to play on PC right now, there is a workaround um, where you can run the mobile client on your PC. If you want to see a video for that, let me know down in the comments section. Um, but yeah, get the game installed, do the tutorial. Uh, that'll teach you the fundamentals of the game. Then come and watch this video and I'm going to show you all the ins and outs. So first up, we've got the uh, different currencies in the game. It uh, can be a little confusing at first, but it is quite simple once you get your head around it. So up here, the blue, we've got credits. This is what you're using to uh, level up your cards. So you're spending credits um, to uh, yeah, level up your cards. That's the main use for them. Um, you also require boosters to level up your cards, which we'll go through in a moment. Gold is your real life currency, so this is, um, you do get some for free in the game, but you know, if you want to spend real money, this is the quickest way to uh, level up stuff. So the easiest way to explain this is if we go to the shop here. Um, so in the shop, you can spend gold on uh, variants, so that's like your skins, etc. So, you know, every game now has skins. Um, I haven't actually bought any skins yet, but you know, if I start playing the game a lot more, I definitely will buy a few. Um, something important, these fast upgrades, you can spend credits to upgrade your cards quickly. We'll go through upgrading cards in a moment. Um, you want to skip this, uh, you get free boosters, you get to upgrade your cards uh, for free. You don't have to spend these extra credits. Um, here you can get some free, 50 free credits every day. So make sure you get that, it's an easy free cr uh, 50 credits. Really, really useful. Uh, and then of course you've got your real life spending, uh, real money here that you can spend on gold. Um, I have bought a bit of gold just to level up some cards. You know, if you're really into the game, um, spending money is a way to level up your uh, collection quickly, get more cards. But just to start, just play, just enjoy the game. Uh, it is free to play. All right, so uh, that's the currencies. Next is the collection level. So this is the like the meat of the game, really, when you get started. This collection level is how you obtain new cards. So obviously, I'm uh, at quite a high collection level, but let's go all the way to the start. This is what you're going to be getting after you complete the tutorial. Um, so as you can see, you, you unlock cards as you play the game. That's the really cool thing. Um, yes, you don't get the exact cards you want and straight away. You do have to work towards them, but I think it's a really cool model that you just get cards for playing. So you'll start at zero here, and as you level up, you're going to get these cards. Um, I would suggest not worrying about what you play until you hit uh, 14. Um, really, up until level 500, you're just collecting cards um, you just want to just play, do your missions, which we'll go through in a moment. Um, if you do want a uh, like a good, strong deck in the early game, once you hit level 14, I'm going to make a video for the Odin reveal deck. Um, so you'll be able to check that out. I'll leave a link to it in the comments. But um, each time you upgrade a card is when you get another collection level. So essentially, the only way to get new cards is upgrading cards. It is, it's a bit strange. It's a bit of an interesting, uh, uh, I guess, an interesting mechanic of of the game but we're going to go through it so you're going to be starting at zero over here in this tab is your collection so this is all the cards that you've collected um and we're going to upgrade a card together so the game is going to teach you how to upgrade cards so you should already know how to do it but um by clicking on a card we can spend the boosters and credits to upgrade it so if we click on hulkbuster here we click this little uh, we press on this icon here and you'll be able to upgrade as you can see, for each upgrade, it costs you credits. So the first upgrade only costs you 25 credits and you get one collection level. So you level up uh, one level. I like to think of the, le the collection level as like experience. That's like your XP level. Um, and it also costs boosters. Now you collect boosters every time you play uh, a deck. As long as the card is in the deck, at the end of the game, you'll see the card appear and you'll get boosters. So you do need to actually play with the card in your deck to collect these boosters. That's why I suggest not worrying about what deck you're playing at the start. Just all the cards that you haven't got upgraded yet, if they're still common, there's still this green level frame uh, rare, just play those cards. It doesn't matter if you're winning or losing, you're going to get these boosters. So initially just play, have fun, and let's level up our cards. So we're going to hit upgrade. Let's hit upgrade there. 
You get your cool animation. The, the animations in this game are absolutely sick. They're really, really cool. Um, so we've increased this to a rare. And then it's going to take us to our collection level and show us that we've been uh, given some collections. So we've given two for upgrading to rare. I've gone from 444 to 446. And as you go through, you get given things. So we've got these 10 boosters here. So I got 10 Shang-Chi boosters. I'll be able to use these boosters uh, to now upgrade Shang-Chi. So that's kind of how you get boosters. You get them from here, but you mostly get them just from playing the cards. So initially just play cards, level them up, get them to max level, which does take a while, but hitting max level, you get plenty of boosters. A quick trick for you is essentially for every 50 credits, you're getting one collection level, but the first upgrade from common to rare only costs 25 credits and gets you one level. So it's kind of like a little discount. So essentially you want to get all of them from common to uh, rare first or uh, common to, I think it's uh, frame break or um, uncommon it's called. Get them to there. Then from then on, it actually doesn't matter what you're upgrading because you're going to be getting the same collection level. So play all your cards, just start leveling up. All right. Um, so we've been through the shop. We've been through pretty much uh, all the ways to level up, all the early mechanics of the game. Again, don't worry too much about what deck you're playing. Let's go through the season pass. You've got, uh, if you go to the home screen here, you've got the season pass up here. You can access it. You can also access it down here. If you're wondering what to spend money on initially, I think the season pass is the best value. It's uh, 15 Australian dollars. And as you uh, rank it up, as you can see, I've finished mine. Um, it's glitching there. It's meant to show you all the levels, but it shows you all the ranks. You just get ranks for, uh, you just level up your season pass for playing. And as you level up, you get tons of gold, tons of credits, tons of boosters. You get some cool skins. And for $15, it just really, um, I think my collection level went up like 50 levels just by buying and leveling up this thing. Um, so that's insane value. Um, so definitely get the season pass each season if you want to play this game seriously. I definitely recommend that. Um, and as I said, don't worry about the deck you're playing. Don't worry about winning games. Uh, down here, you're going to see this is your rank, which you will unlock after, uh, I think, uh, collection level 8. Don't worry about your rank for now. As you can see, I'm only 60. I haven't really been grinding my ranks yet, which I am going to start doing. Just play. Um, get your collection level up and then check out my other videos. I'm going to give you some great decks once you've leveled up a bit and you'll be able to really start pushing your rank. Again, if you really, really want a deck to play straight from the start, uh, if you want to get competitive, you know, uh, I'll make the Odin reveal deck. You can check that out down in the comments. Guys, lots of Marvel Snap content coming for you. That's pretty much all I've got for our beginners video. Um, if you're, you know, you've already been playing the game and you think this could help a friend out, why don't you send it to them, um, you know, get them initiated into the game, get them learning everything. And guys, um, we are starting a Marvel Snap podcast. Uh, it's called Infinite Snap. We're going to be chatting about the game, uh, thoughts on the game, the meta, you know, cool, cool cards, cool decks. We're going to analyze things. So go and check that out. It's on all good podcasting platforms. Um, get ready for more YouTube videos. Come, Go and follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming some Marvel Snap as well. Guys, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.